probably is DDK's most yeah. favorite animals oh. because he's eating oh, we're getting it all away, day. Sorry. Oh, we're getting away. Okay, Zero Three, Forest ID on Hectic. One. Yeah, here we go. Zero yeah. Four off the beginning is going to get that LG in red. And ID is going to be coming, falling short here. I mean, look at this position from Zero Four. This, this is perfect. really bad. ID is going to take so much damage getting out of there. Nice, nice little, you know, left and right dodging. Didn't really take too much damage as I expected. And Zero Four just looking, looking for a better ending of ID. Waiting for him to take the teleporter. Very, very cautious is Zero Four in the first, first 30 minutes of, uh, first 30 seconds of the game. Oh, great rails by ID, hitting two rails in a row, getting the red armor uncontested. No, Zero Four is actually getting in, hitting one rail. ID is retreating, getting over, trying to get positioning on the mega health here. And he's actually, ah, oh, he was about to be late, but Zero Four hitting good shotgun in the process as well. I, I, I think it's gonna be a really hard task for Zero Four here. It looks that way. He needs to get through that choke point, but he just cannot do it. He had to fall back, and it's a victory for ID. Also, a victory for ID was that great spam wow, rocket. And look at that. So the patient. fun thing about that is that spam rocket uh, made zero four turn back before he mm -hmm. could see what's around the corner. He wanted the yellow, and it ID wow. main posi maintained position on red, and that's where zero four is coming out. So it's like perfect. But the rails, the rails, and ID needs the, the mega. Oh, what? boom, boom. <laughs> Wow, the rockets, That's the sound they make. And uh, rail, and uh, rail. No, uh, not gonna connect. Rail. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna connect. It's not, it's not really that hard to cast like that. I like it. Yeah. Anyway, zero four right now. He's got all the weapons he wants, probably. Has got the rail. Looking for an angle over at ID. Tries to pull him away. Great shot first. Impressive. And now it's all about who does ID really want to take uh, take this fight? Can Zero Four hit another rail? Finally jumping over there. I think uh, ID really is in a bad spot now. Zero Four trying to connect some shots over there, and ID now on the back foot. He has got the yellow to fall back on, and Zero Four just needs. I think I didn't even take the red armor there. Uh, the the green armor. That's weird. Yeah, it's pretty weird. People don't respect anyway. the green enough, but ID mm -hmm. taking that rail zero for beating him away. He's, look at this, he's, he's like the king of the middle of the map, the middle upper areas of the map. Yep. And oh, oh and rails. No. ID showing that he can rail too. I mean, he, that CPF proficiency with the aim mm -hmm. is something that he's playing with there. And uh, zero four going to pick up this mega and try to escalate things. And here we have zero four now moving his way around to yellow. Not going to see any ID, and he's hunting. He's a predator right now. A yeah. predator. And ID, so far, he has been proven to hit a, a lot more your rails and also a lot more harder rails. And uh, it's quite interesting to see that ID bases his game around the rail a bit more. And yeah, zero four. Though I think he's got an he's got an idea how to break the control here right now. ID taking the teleporter, taking a lot of damage. Yellows up. Taken. He's gonna look for the angle. Ah, oh, he's too late. He actually received the rail in the process going down. Zero four missing the rocket jump actually into the mega health area. Finally hitting a rail though. Ah, not happy. Zero four, I guess. That missed not rocket happy. jump could really, really uh, turn into a frag. There you go. There yep. is the conversion. There is the frag. frag. But the problem is, is that ID's left relatively low. Zero four, if he adds the pressure now, he mm -hmm. gets the right engagement. He has the weapons to do so. Rail. He misses it. Oh, wait, no, he hit it. He hit oh, it. No. Oh, and he hits a second too. And there you go. And it's before the big items, but he's got to survive this spawn of ID. Can he do it? ID is doing so much damage machine gunning. Down goes zero 4 as the red spawns on the spot. So does the Mega. ID is loving this spot. But the rails again, point blank, they are. And ending the life that it will be of ID. I sound like Yoda. <laughs> I'm no, Yoda. Great. I love that. I'm Yoda. Keep on going. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So we're approaching the halfway mark, and ID is holding his own very well against. Great, against great. Uh, First zero rail four. hit. Let's give uh, uh, zero four a good positioning on the red armor. He's looking for the shot. Let's see if uh, ID's uh, D was a bit too greedy there, maybe. And this is bad right now. Zero four has got good positioning. Mega health and yellow next up. Let's see if zero four tries to find find uh, ID beforehand. Ah, uh, you can. Actually, looking out for another shot here, but safely taking the mega health going back. And now. Zero four, waiting patiently while ID picks the jump at once again. An easy frag here for zero four, getting rewarded with that red. Tried the rail switch, didn't connect, but everything is still very good for zero four. 
And one frag difference still is just the, the tightness of this is now reminiscent of some of the matches we had in the European tournament. And 0-4 has the good position. And look at how, how much damage it wins for him. And ID though is actually returning pretty well there. And 0 4 changing position, still good. ID has to uh, work from below, and that's just never good. And so, oh, 0 4 just missing him there, but the rocket good at the rocket, end yeah. is no problem. And that's going to be another kill for 0 4. Two frags difference now, and he's starting to separate the lead. He just has to get a clean pickup on this yellow, and stuff's going to be really good for him. And right now, ID, I'm going to check his pop. He's actually over at the green side of the map. So zero four with the clean yellow pickup. If he doesn't yeah. take a rail hit, get the clean frag. It's gonna be the game is gonna open up for him so dramatically. Yeah, and ID needs to hit some shots. Uh, finally oh zero God, four for some. This is perfectly for for ID. There's a secret head start. Actually hitting the rail. Ra zero four is available. Uh, ID is not hitting rail so clutch. And finally he's hitting the rail, getting rewarded with that red. And I don't think zero four was expecting that. It was such a great play by ID hitting all the crucial rays in that fight. That the, the ridiculous thing was actually like the rocket that pushed Zero Four down, yeah, leaving yeah. the red up and that like forcing Zero Four to fight, which is just ridiculous. And that gives so much damage to ID. ID cannot let an opportunity like that go because that is not going to happen again. That was a lot of luck. It's very, very unlikely something like that will happen again. So he has to make good of this chance he has now. Yeah. Red is picked up Both by him. players are not really Zero hitting. Four. Finally, Zero Four is hitting a rail. ID is falling down. And was that a rocket? Full rocket? I think so. And 04 takes the red at uh, the mega, but what at what cost? The cost of his life. And ID now through the teleporter is on that positioning that's so dangerous. 04 yeah. won't be able to make it here in time, or will he? He tries it. Oh my god, he knocks him off just in time there. That's really huge. Now can 04 get onto that red? That's the question. Maybe, He's got maybe. to avoid the LG and the rails and the rockets of his opponent. And ID. Oh, oh my god, Telefrag 04. Unbelievable from ID there. That I said that he wasn't going to get lucky again. But you can't count on it, but seemingly such, he does. Such patient play by ID. He could have went for the mega health straight away, but he was just opting. You know, I wait. You know what? I got time. Zero four wants to do a move. I'll wait for him. And was perfect. Totally converted another frag. Even got one off spawn. Zero four. Osprey once again really aggressive with the rail, trying to land the shots once again. Five frags in the lead, two and a half minutes left. This is definitely possible for Zero Four, but the, the, the shots that he was trying to make and off spawn didn't even work out for him. Right now, it's 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 starting to look grim. But Zero Four is hitting two raids in a row and finally going down to that uh, yeah close range LG fight that ID yeah sort of was hoping for probably. Yeah, this is this is unreal. ID is is he gonna make an upset? This is unreal. Um. Okay, so 04, here he is. He's experiencing hard times against ID on Hectic, and there's two minutes remaining. He's seeming to come back to four six frags. It's nothing. Yeah. Nothing. 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 Niente. And ID has the high position again. Red spawning, and 04 from below. Oh, missing the mid air. He needs to do something miraculous. He's trapped. Oh, God, he's so trapped. Oh, uh, this is good for ID. He can spam nades. Looking down, taking another rail. Right in the face of 0 4. There's zero another four, one. Zero 4 work. has to hit another one. Oh, he does. Clutch from 0 4. Manages to make it happen. The impossible can become possible if your name is. He has to, he has to quickly get hill. to the red on my clicky jump over. Not trying to take too much damage. ID already waiting on it on there. And quick switch over to the rail. Nice jump over. Getting the frag as well. Three frags left. 0 4 is racking up the frags. ID actually going down once again. Two more frags to go. <laughs> <That's zero. laughs> just, uh, I was like silent, waiting to see what's gonna happen there. <laughs> you want so. to see what happens? <laughs> you were so concentrated. What's yeah. happening? Listen anyway, two sound. frags, one minute. Zero four can definitely do this. Come on! Oh, he's hitting bad rockets. ID is actually getting on the oh. red and hit it, switching to the red in the last second there. And clock is even amazed as I am simply with a wow. Zero four had all the momentum going for him, but. After that spawn, that indecisiveness, I think he should have just jumped down and just gotten for it. ID uh, got a bit of got a bit of a chance there coming into it, but yeah. zero four with the rails. Oh, Here he comes, he's made he for this. Four frags in 30 seconds. 30 health, no problem. Here I we go. Let's hug the wall. Let's stay here. It's warm and cozy. And he picks up Mega and it's all over for zero four. That's it. That's game and that's match.
ID wow. with a massive upset. Definitely. Massive, massive upset. I think ID was a bit better on the rail angles and he had he had some sick rails in between where he just got control back. And I don't know how many how many times ID played uh, that map in comparison to 04. Aim wise, 04 was a bit better on the percentages, but it felt to me that ID sort of you know took angles that that 04 wasn't wasn't expecting and sort of really yeah. in the beginning helped him to, to take the lead. And he's just looking at uh, ID got uh, ten more yellows and mm. three more reds. Um, two less megas, so definitely better on the armor. Yeah. And yeah, really close game to be honest. And massive props to ID. Big upset onto zero four, and that really leaves ID and Dahang as the two big players in that side of the bracket. And that's pretty huge. Wait, wait. It's semi. It's quarterfinals, so it's best of three. We're tired. We're sorry. <laughs> and ID still has All a chance right, to create the upset. He has won the first map. It's now Toxicity against Zero Four. Another map that could work very well for him. And let's see if he can do it. Let's see if he can do it. Here we go. ID having the Mega Spawn, taking the Rocket, taking the Yellow, moving over to the Shaft. Zero Four already there, trying to move onto that Yellow, obviously having the Shaft advantage here. ID being very patiently waiting, waiting for his moment to pick up the Shaft. He already got it. And now setting up for the for the for the red. Got the rail, trying to look for an angle. He's not really getting it. Falling in the lava is always nice, but uh, yeah, really, really. ID. It's it's interesting that he didn't stay at the red there. I didn't expect that, but this will give him a bit better positioning on the mega here. So uh, yeah, zero four already going in so aggressively, trying to connect with the shots. But ID having the better rail today. And toxicity and is a map of aim, a map of execution, oh, much more ID so than many other away. maps. And zero four able to win that positional situation is going to start to assert, uh, be able to assert himself on the map slowly but surely. First, he must gain the resource advantage, and here it looks like he did that clean, oh, very clean, great read. Oh, zero four jumping go. down, getting the frag. Uh, ID knew that he would rocket jump up, but with the with the rail out, you know the pushback wasn't wasn't big enough to actually you know push down zero four back in the in the red pit and snowball this world. Yeah, this was snowball zero four waiting for the Appins. They all are in sync here. Oh, this is ID. bad. Maybe oh he can hit God. some crazy plasma, and actually he's doing so. However, ID is going going down to zero four shaft. One half yeah. is gone. Zero four. Taking for himself a three frag advantage. ID's performance on Hectic was good, but can he do a repeat on Toxicity? Right yeah. now he has to play the upper areas, and he does. He's doing so. This is how you do it with the rockets. He's five HP, but he did a lot of damage. And oh, zero four is afraid he can't really do anything anymore. That was brilliant from ID. Yep. Oh definitely. my god, did he just go into the acid and what? die? He went to the acid and died. Oh, okay. I instead didn't know that he was that low. Yeah, instead of getting the 25 and the 100 yeah. of the armor, he just died. But ID off spawn going very aggressive. And you know what I like is Zero Four's uh, yellow play is really, really good. So um, he has been cycling both yellows for, for quite a long time here. And I think this is one of the things that ID really will struggle with in, in the long time. The way the way Zero, zero Four puts up you know, the the armors. ID 50 armor. Zero 4 with the mega pickup. He should surely find an easy time in this fight. But ID really working the angles very, very well, to be honest. And again, he finds himself in this upper position. This is the position of out of control. If you, like with rockets, this is mm -hmm. the best place to be mm -hmm. around here. You don't want to commit down to the red. It's death trap. Oh, zero 4 gets him as he turns away. And ID is forced back. Oh, to nice dodge. Did you see that? It's such a close rocket. Uh, zero 04 just moving to the left. Not getting hit by that rocket. Mega health up next. ID already waiting on it. And actually, it was way too early, but it was, uh, yeah, was a nice trick. Zero 04 nearly fell for it, but now he's on a killing spree. He's got 200, 200. ID only has got a rocket. He's gonna go down, and Zero 04 will be awarded with a free red and can quickly move over to the next yellow. And try to deal damage even. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. yes he does. Ah, oh, doesn't even get the yellow. It's painful ID. Yeah, and, and off to the next yellow. Take it. Num num num. There you go. As Rufo finds another engagement that goes his way, maintains position. See, ID is uh, trying to move around here. Teleporter, try to get rails into Oh, good rail. Rufo is going to get caught by this too. 
the plasma and the acid working against zero four, but he wins the day once again and back onto the mega. But what he has to hold, he's low on ammo. He's uh, out of ammo. for running out of chef, maybe looking for the last rail anger that didn't really connect it, and finally zero four is on the stack that can actually be. Yeah, actually be meaning for ID to have an option very soon. So Zero Four is a bit tense, he doesn't want to receive any rail, uh, but he has got good position here in the center of the room. And now yeah. he's just silently waiting. There you go. One rail onto ID, but can he get anything else? There's the LG finish. And ID definitely proving very troublesome, but generally it seems like Zero Four can handle it. He's, ID's never had a position after the oh, fight. Great, great. Fight prediction yep but after the fight it's never been a situation where uh, I need able to bring something together as you can see he's still on minus one like, but he's had a lot of situations where he's forced to forward a position of death or really really low stack and oh, so aggressive ah this is so great zero four knows oh he doesn't have really anything to work with but did he connect like three nades there yeah like point blank and it just killed himself <laughs> wow and Zero four with the pickup of the fifty replenishes that help. This is our position, wow. trying to make those big frags. And really, ID is uh, there is is looking worse and worse for him, looking like there's less and less ways back into the game. Yeah, ID never really had a chance to show how he actually plays in control on this map. I think. So, uh, I mean, it's still four, four and a half minutes left. ID can still do it, trying to hit some crazy plasma gun here, but. Nice dodge there by Zero Four, avoiding most of the, the plasma gun damage. And right now, ID has to start from uh, start from the beginning. He's trying to lay down some damage here, but it's going to be so hard dropping down on the red. Uh, Zero Four still has the option. Does he going to look for the shot? Uh, does he look for the frag? And it's just <laughs> <laughs> they're doing weird things. Yeah. And there you go. Catches him in the open with the lightning gun. Goes down. Fifteen to minus two. Out. Ouch, yeah. ouch, ouch, ouch. ID not having a good time with it. And GG calls it. ID knows it's over. Good stuff. Good Moving stuff. on to the third map. And ID, he won Hectic. Can he close it on the third map? That's the question. So far, it looks like Zero Four is not going to take any chances. He's going to make sure his game is super tight and his fundamentals are strong and he plays it safe because he's, it's his, his last lifeline. Yep. Well, there's no, there's no lifeline. <laughs> there is no lifeline. Oh, and it's arrow walk. Yeah, so this actually Ooh, plays well for ID. That's going to be tough. This plays really, really well for, for ID, in fact, because the, the aim maps are definitely, or I say aim maps, <laughs> like it's, but, you know, it's a much more aim base. So yeah, I'd definitely. ID but gets a good start. That could be it. Yeah, yeah. If you've seen Walter, I think he's an American as well. The way Walter plays this map is quite fascinating as well. Like he can even play on high ping. Ah, this map so defensively. Campgrounds. Ah, campgrounds. It's an aim map as well. Well, all yeah. chef map. Copyright to strengths to some extent. Yeah, and you have to you have to give the advantage to zero four. I'm sorry because like. Zero four and like let's say if you if you look at Quake as a history and yeah. campgrounds as a history, the history takes place in zero four games and cooler games. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, the the experience definitely is there and zero four. Yeah. He didn't even have to practice the map. He, he he still knows the angles. You know, once you played uh, Demon Six for such a long time, it, it's just a easy like the movement around the map. I think, in my opinion, is rather easily because it's so open. So, th like, in comparison to toxicity, you have a lot of jumps you have to learn, like, a lot of quick jumps and knowing what to get. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, straight away, third map, Zero Forest ID in the quarterfinals of the Faced North American Cup. Here we go, it's ID off the start, picks up that red, Zero Four with the... That's interesting, you know, like, um, for example, you know, oh, he it's a, the typical way to start is to, from the spawn, jump all the way over to to the rocket, mm -hmm. spot the mega, and then go back for the reds. That's the typical way to play it, but he just went straight on the red. Zero four is creeping around the shotgun. He wants to see if he can catch a stray ID. Dropping on, and there he goes. He drops him onto that red, and zero four doesn't care if he takes it. He does so much damage. How the hell did ID survive? Yeah, I think it was really lucky to hit that facial rocket in the in the very end, but Zero Four already off spawn. There was a air rocket in yeah. between, but Zero Four had the better off of it. 
And now taking the yellow rather safely, moving over swiftly to the right armor, trying to get it as fast as possible, hoping that ID doesn't stand above Ori with the rocket out. No, he's already there trying to lay down damage onto Zero Four. And oh, he took uh, he took a fair amount of damage, but now Zero Four looking to even deny the shots. This is gonna look very grim moving over to the yellow side a yeah, bit. Cool. Yeah. Wow. The tied game and the 54 issue. Uh, <laughs> you're playing now. Holy <laughs> moly. ID for ID. <laughs> oh my good gracious me. ID is in the spot that he has to run away from 0 4. And again, Come on, that, get a rail. Yes. that experience comes into play. It comes into a lot of play because right now ID has to survive survival mode. And 0 4 gets the chance to be the hunter. And he knows how to hunt a player on this map. Look at that. See, there you go. Yep. Picks him up. And the thing is, is that, sure, he doesn't even get the kill hit, but he takes away the shards. Yep. And he gets, he should get the mega. I need oh. to go and commit there. He, and, he, and he dies. I mean, I don't know about the commitment there. How much can he do, really, there? Nothing. Yeah, oh, what a terrible spawn. Oh, so ID. This, is, this is looking bad. This can get bad really fast now. Nah, you probably ID. didn't want to like give away his positioning by moving. You know, if he had dropped down on the mid level, zero fall would pro probably have heard it and attacked once again. So I was hoping to not get spotted and then wait for zero fall to move again. But yeah, ID finally, you know, having a spawn that he can actually work with, getting a rail. We've seen some, some really nice shots from him today and. Uh, yeah, maybe this is the weapon he needs to actually get back, but may it may be the weapon that he needs to get back, but first off, he has to give up a frag against Zero 4 here. Yeah, it's, it's looking that way. Zero 4 going to run yellow, red, and mega, and that is definitely not a good spot to be in for ID. ID, 35 health, 25 armor, and not a lot of hope. You see what I mean? Very, very quick jump. Two and a half, three seconds over to the red armor. There you are. ID already waiting on the rocket launcher, going down to the shaft damage, though not much he can do in that situation. Zero Four being very swiftly on the pickup here. Mega Health has been taken up. Two rockets straight in the face. ID can't do nothing at this very moment. This is the situation. Like, you remember earlier in the uh, European Cup, we were talking about how on uh, campgrounds, it can seem like not a big deal. Yeah. So, oh, 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 ID oh. getting great oh, rockets. Oh, great rockets. Brilliant rockets there on Zero Four. That's a great way back But you the can't game. really, you can't afford to drop down or go straight in here. This can really be a big gamble here. He's got to go for it oh, though. Oh, he's, he's going to go for it. And he gets it. And this could work out well, but Zero Four has the weapon advantage How by far. How much HP does he have left? 49 health for Zero Four and one, ID was on one health. Wow. And wow. jump pad to rail. That's the rail you practice 10 years. Yeah. For. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you know, like this, is, like we were saying before, it doesn't look like much when someone is surviving for a very long time, keeping the score low, mm -hmm. out of control on this map. But you can see how hard ID is finding it against Zero Four, because it's really, really, really hard. <laughs> really hard. Yeah. And from ID's perspective, he does actually manage to pick up, accumulate 150 armor. Rail coming in from above there. And yeah, it's even down. on this map when you play passively and you only only want to you know play on the yellows, you, you still need the timing on the reds to get back into the game. You might get the the glimpse, um, you know, over to the mega health if you play very passively, yep. but you still have to sort of show your presence at the red armor. And every time you do that, you sort of not only may lose positioning, but you always are granted to you know take some surprising damage when when the opponent rocket jumps up or goes up the stairs. Yeah. So it's it's really difficult in that regard to play out of out of control. And obviously, you have the shards, and often players obviously you know ha having the shards is like half of yellow, and also is very important for you to take when you're out of control. But Sometimes, uh, when the when the player starts to time the timing the shards, this is where you know things are starting to get very very ugly. Yeah, indeed. Halfway through the map, and yeah, timing shards is like just ridiculous overkill. Yep. And as what happens? It happens frag. on a very high yeah. level. It happens. Exactly. Zero four will defend this. No problem. One stray rocket will find him, but it's nothing to worry about. Zero four really stabilizing at this point. I mean, sure the yellow will go to ID, but zero four is by far in the lead, and he knows he hurt. Okay, this is oh bad. It's bad. One ID rail. Can he look for another? Oh, he dropped down to the health, looking for a pot shot. There's a second rail. ID actually has to retreat. Why is he going? 
What did you think? Did, d does he think he's gonna get the red and get away with it? I think he. I think he's going for just another rail. Yeah, but maybe he thinks he had to hit two, two more. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. And he knows that those rifle just took red and mega, so mm. that's two hundred. So I guess that's what his, his feeling was. Maybe that three would be enough, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, ID gets caught again around the shards, and he will go down. So. It's looking very hopeless, his options never coming together for him and Zero 4 looks by far the better player on campgrounds, which is what would be expected given his his grandiose history on this map yep. as a player generally. And it almost makes me sad that there's no T4 on the map pool, just because for me to see players like Zero 4 and T4 is just yeah. such a nostalgia fest. Just but but then at the same time as we you know face it, uh, obviously wants to give everyone a chance and having like very very old maps always can give some players an advantage as they have played them before. Yeah. So it's always like you know you want to have really exciting games like you have on DM6, which is really nice to see it back in the map pool. But when you do that, you always you know want some rotation, and this is what you guys have been doing. And meanwhile, zero four is hitting some crazy vertigo shots. Twelve to one, three to two for zero four. There you go. Not much to say. Nope. 71 rail. Maybe. Pretty good. And the next Brief match we'll go to is Rafa Sparks, I do believe, quarterfinals as well. Yep. But first we'll take a break. Me and Ishi will try and eat something, regain some energy. Yep. And we'll see you after this.